perpetually disconcerting when industrial relations break down in education and teachers abandon their classrooms and lecture halls. Obviously, those who really suffer in this are the innocent children. I urge you all to focus your minds on the need for an improved formula of negotiations and consultations, which will minimize, if not eliminate, eliminate any recourse to industrial action with harmful consequences upon our children. And while we will always urge moderation in the face of national economic realities, we will nonetheless urge policymakers to ensure that the status of our teachers truly reflect the level of importance we attach to their place in society.